What is going on guys, it's your boy Reload here bringing you a brand new video and today we're doing a vlog. I just woke up, alright, 7.30 in the morning and about to get ready for my last day of high school. I'm going there just for half a day to take my final two exams and hopefully if we do, I'm praying that we pass and then we don't have to ever go back to that school ever again. Sorry about the lighting. Um... But I'm going to go ahead, go downstairs, and start getting ready. Go take a shower, you know. And then I'll pick up after I'm done with the shower and everything and dressed. So, stay tuned for more parts of the video, of course. And, yeah, I'll we'll pick you up when I guess I'll be eating breakfast. Yeah. Well, I just got out of the shower, got finished dressed, see. A last day of school, getting dressed. I asked my pa I asked my parent, my mom, to last day of school to uh, write a note for me, right? To write a note for me to leave early after exams, right? And I have. Due to my illness in the past, I have special things to help me get through school, all right? And dealing with absences and stuff, I have special things that they had to follow by, go to school. So one of them is absences and if I'm pretty sure that if I was absent at all the um, if I came in the next day with a note from the doctor or a note at all they would excuse it and there'd be no problems right I don't have that many unexcused absences at all this quarter or the semester so I believe I'm fine and hopefully I am but I know I got a lot of excused absences but they should be excused and they don't count against me unexcused I should be fine as like I said but I also filled out the extenuating circumstances if you have over absences, but they said you don't really have to worry about that because of my my uh, my illness from the past and the document I have for school that the hospital made for me. So I'm pretty sure. Oh my God! I didn't know good lighting at all. It's just a sun glare. I'm pretty sure that the my absences is fine so I could do this and hopefully they don't try to impose no bullshit out on me with these absences bullshit even though I have a reason to miss a lot of days I know this ain't no doctor's reason I really don't just get please allow to get depart after his exams that's not no doctor reason it's, but I have a note and I don't have that many out uh, out of school absences without a note that it came back so um, yeah but I'm gonna go ahead maybe look for some breakfast oh if not, I'll just grab what I usually grab right before I leave. The peanut butter crackers. Hopefully I got what I have left. I know this lighting sucks. 
It's either the lighting that sucks or the iPhone 7 camera sucks now. But But yeah, uh I'm gonna get finished getting dressed. Pretty much gotta get my shoes on, brush my teeth, you know, everything like that. And I'll uh, see you in a little bit. Well, <clears throat> it's time. So, about to leave, go to the last day of school. Just talked to my mom about stuff, and she's like, talking about it could, if I, if I wanna risk having to go to school for six more months for no reason because of absences, blah, 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 blah. So, we're gonna lock the dogs up, no boo-boo. Can't come out. I gotta leave. I know I start talking and you got all weird. Got my dogs in here, gotta lock them up, you know. Um, but hopefully, I'm gonna ask the teachers when I get there, my teachers that I'm not gonna be there for that block, for that day, ask them what's going on. And if I'm gonna see if they're nice teachers and they would like, nah, we ain't gonna count you, no. Or the dickhead teacher, like, no, we're gonna count you. So, we'll lock these dogs up and see you after that. All right, here we go. Last day of school. Let's get this. Let's go get this work. Oh, it rained. Yeah. All right. We'll get this work. But real quick, you've never really seen vlogs from me, so check it. Uh, this is what I drive pretty much. I'm just going to show you real, real quick. This is my 1994 C1500 Chevy Silverado with a 350 SS 57 liter. What it's what called is today the 57. But back we called it back then 350 cubic inches. And right now it's dirty. We don't know what this red stuff is from. It looks like pollen, but it's, it came after we did some wood work. Yeah, it's like some orange stuff. It's not rust or anything, because it's all up against here. But this is what my truck is. This is my, this was uh first my grandfather's before he got sick with cancer. And it's now mine after it was my grandma's for years. If you want to hear a full story about it, about this truck and the background of it, that would just uh, leave a like on this video. And comment that you want to see a story about it. A story about this truck. But if you don't know, if you know about me, if you know about me, I did get sick. So, yeah. About my story with the cancer and everything. I'm going to show you something in the back window. You might have seen it already. But. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna just throw my book back in the back and then I will show you. Well, right here, I got this sticker right here. Cancer sucks and mud racing. This is what I'm talking about. Right now. Neighbors leaving, but cancer sucks and mud racing. It's a mud team that a friend made and because of his father that passed away from cancer as well. And then when I got it and we represent the team. Well, I'm not I'm not saying we represent it's his team, uh, but he lets me represent it. And because what I've been going through, and I also throw it in there as representing my grandfather, just because cancer sucks. Cancer's a bitch, and it takes way too many lives, and it very sucks. So with that, with the truck that he he gave to me. And I knew it was mine because he told me when I was a kid, when I was the very infant, even though he wasn't alive. He, he told me when he was, an angel, his angel came down when I was born, first time I went over to my grandma's house, and that he told me that. So, 
that this truck was mine. But I don't know what time. It's like 8:10 or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to the school. And yeah, let's get going. I'm gonna shut the garage door. I gotta put a seatbelt on. I ain't got no spots to place you guys as a ride along kind of thing, you know? I can't place you anywhere or anything like that. The truck ain't built for that, you know? It sucks. I don't have no special gadget. I could put you there, but turning and stuff will knock you down. So, not even gonna worry about it. So I will just resume the vlog. What the hell? I will just resume the vlog. Um, once we get to school, I guess. Yeah. See you guys there. We just made it to school. Um, I don't know what time I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna ask the teachers uh, what's going on and what do I have to do? So, and if they're ever gonna count me or not. Um, there's no vlogging in school. So, whenever I get out, I get out. If I get out early, I'll let you know. If I don't get out early, I'll let you know. So, pray for I can get these exams done and pass and that's the big part is just to get the exams passed and done. A decent grade on the exam. So, see y'all guys later. Well, it's over. School is done. Uh, I thought I had to take a second block exam, but she said, you don't need to. You're cool. You don't need to take it. I'm like, okay. So, I got a C plus on my meteorology exam. And still don't know what the other exams are, what those grades are, because they haven't put them in. But hopefully, I pass them exams as, the, as well. So, right now, it's 10.30, 10.40 in the morning. And... I'm done with school and I'm going home. So, let's, I hope everybody who is not a graduate, who is still an underclassman uh, in high school or college, if you're doing college, good luck to you in your exams if you haven't taken yours already. And if, you are graduating this year and this semester or this year uh, I hope you pass your exams I really do so right now I'm just made it to the truck and I'm throwing everything in the back real quick hold up I'll put you in the seat real quick I can throw my book bag In the back of the truck. Yeah, right. again. But you guys are oh, right there. It's already hot in this truck, man. Just the little time I was in here. So, yeah. Putting our seatbelt on. We're on the way back. We're going back home. We have to. So. Let's get the hell out of here. See y'all when I get back home. Well, just made it home. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do now. You know, kind of gloomy outside. Kind of gloomy because it's a, not that good of a weather, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I could go sleep, 
you know. I could always go to sleep. Um, what else could I do, guys? Put you guys right there. I get my book bag out. I could go to sleep. Could hop on Fortnite and stream. So I don't know what I should do. I'm gonna text my sister real quick, see what she's up to. And yeah, I don't know if she's going to be up to it. I don't know if she had a work last night or whatever, but it's, it's whatever, I guess. Um, so that's pretty much the vlog, <laughs> really quick. No in school vlog or nothing like that, just Quick, easy thing. Woke up at 7.30 and came home at 10.50. Come on. Oh. I was halfway on. So, I'm home. We're good. Hopefully, I'll put everything down. I'm going to have to go back and I'll let the dogs out. But I'm going to outro this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little vlog. I don't do vlogs at all. Or at least not that much. Very rare occasion you see me do vlogs. But just wanted to do this last school. Plus not just for y'all. But for a memory of mine. 2018. Class of 2018. Hopefully. Should be. Definitely should be. So. This has been reloaded. And the puppies, Diesel and Baby Girl. <laughs>